Hello, lovelies. So we have My Bloody Valentine, which has no relation to the film whatsoever. This was a fun movie. Mm, let me rephrase that. Not fun as in happy-go-lucky or comedic, but it was very different. It, uh, I, I like this one. So this one runs roughly 12 minutes, 36 seconds, and we open with a young man who is literally pulling his heart out of his chest and survives this. We then skip to a diner scene where he's trying to give this very personal emotional part of himself to a young lady who in turn rejects it, which I don't know if, if See, for me, that's where the confusion was, because upon that initial scene, I thought he was ripping his heart out because he wanted to avoid emotional pain, you know, kind of like shortcut getting through heartbreak, which sometimes that can take years to get over. And I don't know, I my initial thought was he just kind of wanted to avoid dealing with his emotions and and he just wanted to move on with his life when in actuality he was making this grand gesture only to have it rejected which is kind of ironic because I kind of wound up being half right the young lady moves on with her life and then she gets to find out what it feels like to have her heart broken so she decides to see a surgeon to have the emotional memory part of her brain removed, which it reminds me of eternal sunshine of the spotless mind, just people trying to forget about things or or get past something. But we skip to our next scene where she's gone back to him, which I guess she realized she does care about him. So she's missing part of her brain. The guy is missing his heart, which that's already an odd couple in itself, and the guy who manages the diner is the one narrating, and he breaks out into this song and dance routine, which it, it's not as cheesy as it sounds. It, it's on topic, and we find out that he went through something very similar himself, and we kind of end with this this note, maybe things will be different this time, kind of like they've both learned from their actions or they have something new to take away from these experiences. I'm not really too too sure how to read into that, but I I like the narrative. I don't know. It's it's very different from everything that I've seen. It which is why I say it was kind of kind of a fun little watch even though there was nothing haha -ha funny about it. But perhaps just unique or intriguing would be a, a more correct way of describing that one. If you guys decide to check this one out, please let me know what you think. I I enjoyed this one. I, I thought it was really good. But uh, that is all I have for you guys today, and I will talk to you later.